So I know it's been a while since I made an update about the original project that I was going to tackle, which is the NV140 or Quadratrack 1 uh, transfer case swap to Command Track, which is the NV241. As you can see, I have a actual uh, 2012 and up Wrangler JK transfer case from an auto transmission. So I do have the adapter piece and everything ready. Uh, this is what goes behind the tail end of the transmission for the NAG ones on the Jeep JKs. So I managed to get this piece by itself. This one was junkyard. And this is what goes into the transfer case. And this end is what connects to the NAG one itself. And so I meant to do this earlier, but I just got caught up with a lot of stuff going on with, I think I wanted to lift Rocky more than anything else, honestly. So as you can see here, she's actually on a four inch lift now. 4.5 actually. Um, BF Goodrich KO2 is running 34 inch tires, actual 34s. So I didn't skimp out on 33. I wanted to go as big as possible. And um, those fit, there's zero rubbing. And that's because the rims themselves are stuck and they're not very wide. Sorry for the wind. As you can see, we still have the NV140 here. Really tiny transfer case. What I didn't notice too though is that there's actually an adapter piece for the uh, Quadra Track 1 transfer case itself. So there's something on the transmission tail end that needs to be removed and that adapter over there is what fits. So yeah, I just wanted to give you that quick update um, just to let you know though. I believe there's been a couple people that have already attempted this project that are just not very vocal about it. Um, I know a guy who solid axle swapped his commander and um, I'm pretty sure he's already done it. He's just not saying anything. And there's a couple others too that I know um, on forums and stuff. So I have without a reasonable doubt that this will work. Um, like I said, everything is factory from a Wrangler. So none of this is prepared. None of this is proprietary, so this is all what usually comes on a 2012 up auto JK Wrangler. I had this transfer case sitting in the garage for like almost a year, and I just never really touched it um, because, I, like I said, I was busy with other stuff. Speaking of, I actually have twin ELSDs now from Quadra Drive 2. So you can see that 12 bolt pumpkin back there. And yes, I do have actual working front and rear lockers for Rocky. And um, those actually weren't too bad to install. It just took about maybe a month to do in my garage with help of some friends and stuff. That wasn't too bad. It was just a lot of heavy lifting and patience, honestly. But yeah, um, I do like the NV140. I mean, it does have its perks. That's why I was like, okay for the longest time not having low range. And um, Honestly, I was just going to think of putting that NV241 transfer case when I had time because it's not really a priority. Like, these lockers make a difference off-road. Also, one thing you should uh, know, too, I did eventually make Bill Moore Lake. You know, that video that I always cried about as a teenager about you know, getting to the top. And I actually did make it, but back then I just, I guess I felt like my channel was kind of dead. So, um, but I did make it up there thanks to these lockers. And 373 gears, because obviously um, Quadra Track 1, you're running 307s. But with the uh, ELSD's front and rear, I pulled both of those from the junkyard, and those came with 373s. That said, though, I did need a custom-made TCM. Because obviously the uh, TCM that's pre-programmed from factory is going to have 307s. So this is, uh, I bought this from HHP high horse performance and they programmed a 373 for me and uh, now I don't have any limp mode or anything like that but that's also super important to consider when doing a ELSD swap and I know you probably saw that I'm gonna fix that eventually but you know thank god for fuses right <laughs> no but um, honestly I had trouble with the firewall a while back a long time ago if you guys remember that old horn video that I made as a teenager yeah well that took forever to pierce the firewall and I just didn't want it to do it again but I eventually need to so but everything works to further show the pluretha of things that I'm trying to work on 
Um, this is a RCV axle or half shaft for Jeep WKs. This is actually discontinued now, so I was really lucky to find this one. Thanks, Wally from Jeep Perf. I know, uh, had a bit of a shifting scare, but uh, he was actually able to give me uh, some of his old sets. The boot was kind of in poor condition, as you can see. I just cut it off, and I'm ready to put a new boot on. But um, like I said, Quadratrack 1 is it's turning out to be a lot more adequate than I thought, which is why I ended up putting off the low range thing. But like I said, guys, I promise once everything's settled and, you know, I'm in a spot where I'm kind of bored and need to do or find another project to do, I will put the NV241 on and go ahead and get some low range. But until then, I do have some other stuff I need to tackle that I feel is more important. Like these, for example, super important with 34 inch tires. Um, I don't know when I want to tackle this. It's probably next month or either that or probably next year or around this time during summer. I'm planning honestly to reserve a storage spot so I can just have her in a garage and because I don't know how long it's going to take and she actually needs that space out there. But yeah guys, so that's the update and um, keep you guys posted I guess for when this happens. Thanks.